Hello everyone. Welcome to the FRAS Focus Regional Anesthesia Series. I am Dr. Gopal Krishan Jalwal, Assistant Professor in Anesthesia Department. Today I will show you USG guided subclavian vein CVP line insertion. This is a schematic diagram of subclavian anatomy. Subclavian uh, vein is a deep vein and that is very commonly used for the CVP line insertion. Subclavian vein is a uh, continuation of uh, axillary vein and uh, uh, at the level of the sternal loach here subclavian vein uh, meets the IJV and forms the right innominate vein or uh, brachiocephalic vein and then brachiocephalic veins continue with in the superior vena cava and ultimately superior vena cava drains into the right atrium this is a uh, an, uh, another schematic diagram of the subclavian vein here you can see that subclavian vein uh, passes behind the medial two-third of the clavicle to join the internal jugular vein so uh, at this level at the level of the medial two-third of the clavicle it is very difficult to get a view of the subclavian vein um, by the usg probe so first you have to place your probe at the later uh, just below the later one-third of the clavicle so here it you can uh, you can uh, get a view of uh, short axis view of the subclavian vein and then proceed further patient position to perform the subclavian vein cvp line insertion patient should be placed in tendenberg position and arm should be abducted scanning technique first you have to place the high frequency linear probe just below the lateral one third of the clavicle and in parasagittal plane and then rotate slightly toward the axilla keeping the vein and artery into the view How you can differentiate between the subclavian vein and subclavian artery into the long axis view? The subclavian vein is compressible and subclavian artery is non-compressible. Subclavian vein looks like a road. Somewhere uh, it will be broad and somewhere it will be narrow. But subclavian artery looks like a railway track, same width all the way in long axis view and uh, in subclavian vein uh, wall may be visible and there will be no wall in the subclavian artery there is a no pulsation in the subclavian vein and subclavian artery always will be pulsatile when you place the high frequency linear probe in parasagittal plane just below the lateral one third of the clavicle you will see uh, a short axis view of uh, subclavian vein and artery uh, subclavian artery you can identify through the pulsation when you will uh, move your probe toward the axilla you will see long axis view of the subclavian vein vein uh, will be compressible and just like a road some uh, portion will be broad and some portion will be narrow and uh, you can see here it is compressible how the subclavian artery looks like in a long axis view when you place the probe over the axilla uh, you must know and uh, uh, otherwise you can puncture the uh, subclavian artery uh, subclavian artery uh, will show pulsation 
and long axis view and it is and it looks like a railway track technique uh, uh, to perform the subclavian vein cvp line insertion uh, you have to take the all aseptic precautions and uh, then you have to uh, localize the subclavian vein in a long axis view as told before in this video uh, and then introduce the puncture needle through the inline technique Uh, here you can see the pectoralis major, minor, and subclavian vein below the pectoralis minor, and a needle is approaching toward the subclavian vein. When you puncture the subclavian vein, you will feel a pop up, and after filling the pop up, aspirate the blood and insert the CVP line. Thank you.